Hey, it's Tears You, and today we're going to be playing Blazing Beaks. Well, that was interesting. Change grip? What does that mean? Do they assume you're holding a Joy-Con for this? Alright, what's the options? Video audio. Screen shake. Volumes. Vibration, crosshair, controller layout. And the little duck on the side gives you hints. Item effect, visibility of effects that are shown at the top of the screen. Alright, well, let's start the story. So you can choose a specific seed to always get the same levels, it appears. No daily or challenges. So the account I'm playing on doesn't have a Nintendo account linked to it. So that might be why I can't choose daily or challenges. Let's see. Play normal run with your selected difficulty level. Ah, so here's where you set the difficulty. And the seed. So one is easy, two is normal, three is hard. Got it. And this is where you would add other players. And choose your character. So plus. Not shooting for one second, reload your weapon, ready for your next shot three times faster. 50% lower range. One key, additional loot by killing marked enemies until the indicator disappears. Any damage taken with one HP left decreases max HP. Entering boss level refills health by converting every five coins to one HP. Amount of coins required increases with every loot. Can kill marked enemies in one shot. Shoots inaccurately while running. Higher, higher range. Dealing damage to enemies reduces their walking speed for two seconds. 40% lower cooldown, 70% lower coin drop. So this one seems to be the most balanced, I'd assume. And you select characters with left or right, even more characters that aren't unlocked yet. Ah, so just right into it. So you control the aim with the right stick, and you move the left stick. So... Firing with the right shoulder button. Or the right trigger. Oh, it says right here. I just happened to miss it. So ZL... I don't know what it's supposed to do. Maybe I just don't have the item yet. Get this ugly carrot turnip looking thing. I'm too weak now to even pick up this artifact. And carrying it will only make me weaker still. Can you take it and give it to the crow for me? She'll reward you nicely. Poison spearhead. Reduces reload speed and fire rate by 40%. Let's kill. Oh, you gotta blast your way through. And kill them. It popped out of this little weird sack. And there's the exit. Ah, the store. Hey, uh, got a poison spearhead for you. Ooh, money. Ruby and a crystal ball indicates where the secret doors are. Fancy. So you got... The AC keeping this ice cube cool, but the question is why. Also, can't fire in here. Got the penguin chilling out, and these spots, which I'm guessing is where inventory would be. Oh well, time to leave. Gross! Another one of these little sacks. Whoa, they fire now. Two 
two shots. Ouch. Jerk. Basically Bomberman. The Bomberman of birds. And you can fire through walls. And they killed themselves. Way to go, dummy. So, does that just open up the level? Doesn't really give you any drops, consumables, anything. Oh well, on to the next. Ah, gross! Ouch. <clears throat> Pretty decent range on that. Ooh, a heart. Restore one of my health. So, can't damage this poison potion. Because it's an artifact. Blow yourself up. Haha, <laughs> dummy. I wonder if I could blow up this rock if I had a better item. Or if they could have blown up the rock. This looks like spikes right here. I'm not gonna bother stepping on that. So if I had a key, I could get in here. Ow. A two. And where'd you come from? They're hiding in the water. Dead. So unlocked a new character for that at least. Killed by invisible frog, swamp one three, four minutes seventeen seconds. Didn't even last five minutes. So it shows the seed at the bottom if anyone else wants to try this and do it better. Does that mean it just put me on another random seed now? Aha, through the wall. Gross. Get away from me. I've got an air cannon. Now they got acid corrosive blood. Very smart, are they? All right, so doors over here. And again, this log right here, just like that other stone, doesn't really fit in. Seems like something you could blow up and get items out of. So walking through fire doesn't hurt you. And hitting them stops their firing cycle. Oh, they just totally killed themselves. I didn't even interact with them. So it looks like it displays the effect multiplier up there. Continue, restart, quit, artifacts. You lose two coins for every one damage you take. So it looks like some of these artifacts are just negative. Again, no interaction with them. They just blew themselves up. Uh, so you can see where the frogs are by their footprints. I thought they were hiding in the water, but that's just their footprints on the marsh. Kind of makes a little splashy splash effect when you walk around, so 
it's very likely a marsh. It's weird, Eggman running around. I like that it doesn't let you take the heart unless you've taken damage, too. It means you can save it for later. Well, as long as you're in this part of the level, anyway. Oh, and that didn't blow up the coin. Nice. Ah, so the hearts do disappear. What? Oh, another... Something got me. I don't see... F oh, spikes? Probably the spikes. Not very observant. So is this the shop? Looks different than the other one. Hey, you wanna buy this potato? Check it out. Bubble wrap. When damage taken as three or more reduces damage by one. Ah, so this is uh, upgrades. So you can buy a shotgun. Can buy a random weapon or can buy this weapon. I only have one coin though. It's not gonna be enough. Also, I unlocked. I think it's this character. Wow, they killed themselves before I even got into the level. So you pick up negative artifacts and then you sell them for good artifacts, it looks like. Also, not very good at paying attention to my surroundings. That's generally why I don't play roguelites or top down shooters. I know my limitations. But I figure I can show it off for other people if they enjoy this type of game. Kind of reminds me of uh, Wizard of Legend. Though so far it hasn't shown to have much of a story. Blow yourself up. Thank you. Give me the money. Uh, so it looks like the next door is a boss level. And there's no health around here. I've only got two out of five, so it's probably not going to go well. It's a maggot. Okay, so I got these uh, spiked things. Spawns more enemies. Ooh, health. Well, that was a waste. So, stick his tongue around the spike blob. Ouch. And dead. Yeah, different seed. So retry isn't really retry, it's just play again, because it puts you on a new seed. Last time, or that time it lasted five minutes at least. Maybe the next time it last ten minutes. Also the aim assist is kind of weird, because all of a sudden it just changes where your cursor is aiming. Look at all these chickens. Blow yourself up, dummies. So you kill all the enemies and the door opens. Like how it leaves little craters where they blew up too. So the question is, can they shoot through these too? Well, apparently they're not going to shoot because they can't see me through the vines. Yep, they can break them. But they can't see through them. Hmm. 
run. Ooh, secret. Can't open it yet. Probably got to kill them first. So in general, enemies can't harm each other except for area of effect attacks. Toxic substance. Run! Yeah. There will be no weapons to buy in the shop. Triples, acid, or toxic fumes damage for you. Not sure why someone would buy those from you. My god, nothing but negative effects? Okay. I'll take it. Nails and a feather? Nails or a feather. So I can only carry... Okay, where does it go then? This shows either a nail or a feather. Ability to fast light and dodge the bullets. Cool down. Six seconds. And this one is... Ability to deal five damage for each nearby enemy and one to yourself. So I'm guessing there's a button press for this. You can only choose one. And I'd rather not deal damage myself. Oh, that must be uh, what the ZL meant. Come this way. Hide over here, you coward. Two more egg sacks. Again, wasted the heart. <clears throat> Jeez like a ridiculous level of bomber man. Pick up the anomaly, pick up the health, pick up the money. Oh, they killed that invisible frog, thanks. There's still an enemy in this little sack here. Come here. Ouch. Almost killed myself again. Ooh, secret. Look at that. A bunch of little mm, ducks here. A little duck house. Ooh, money and health. Perfect. No downside to that. Ah, oh, the level reset too. I see you there. Your dirty footprints. Oh yeah, this is a different level. It just looks so similar. Mm, blow yourself up. Blow yourself up, you know you want to. Don't aim over there. And that's that. Get this money real quick. Go into the shop. Get rid of all these terrible artifacts that are killing me. Here, have all of them all. Look at that. So we got red juice, refills your HP. And if you already have full HP, adds one max. Chance that you will not be charged for weapon purchase. Is that a 1% chance? One in some hundred million, just like the real lottery? Ooh, a discount. Enemies who deal you damage will be kicked off. Interesting. 
Hey, but I, I had that stupid item at the time that said the shop will be empty. So, I don't get to buy anything new. Oh yeah, stupid frogs again. Trying to sneak up on me, scumbag. Ooh, boom! More negative effects, please. Reduces your run speed by 30%. So you're gonna have a hard time evading enemies. Invisible frog, I see you. So many frogs. So little health. Stay away from me. Probably don't want to go running around the level. Or near these spikes. Jeez, so many of them. They hang out in groups. Two health. Blow yourself up, dummy. Every time. I still haven't found any keys either. Found two of these key doors, no keys. So, is there any special place to get them? From the shop, maybe? Yeah. Invisible frog, get out of here. Get out of here. Maybe another invisible frog over here? Nope, don't see one. Nope, no more. Just the one. Just an absurd number of them in that last spot. Oh, another one of that gross orb. So there's another enemy hiding here. I got a I'm not hiding, it's this sack. What a dummy. And back to this. Ow. Dead. Alright, so this time, eight minutes. So it seems every time I'll last another couple minutes. If I play this game 20 times, I'd get to an hour. Well, let's try another again. Try and get to 10 minutes. Maybe actually get to uh, upgrade an item at the shop, and buy something new. Ooh, run so much faster. I was going to blame that. It wasn't my own ineptitude. It was my run speed. If I could run a normal speed, I would have won first time. I always find it interesting that they jump into the doorway. Thank you. That makes up for my stupidity. Now blow yourself up. Poison spearhead. I feel like the enemies got these little text bubbles when they make noise. As though they're saying something. Even though it's just a noise like... Bing, 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 bing. Ooh, 
a new item. Nope. Stupid joystick. Ooh, a donut. Tasty. Poison spearhead, reduce reload speed. Teleport you to the hatch every time you take damage. Risk value on taking damage? No idea what that means. So every time I take damage, I'll have to start from the beginning of the area. It seems like it could be bad, but it could also be a good thing. It'd get you out of danger. Easy money. Avoid the boss. Do not have what it takes to beat him. Oop, invisible frog. Cornered yourself. Blast him twice. Alright, there he is. So the invisible frogs are just there. As you can see the little footsteps even when you aren't near them. Time to go to the shop. Six coins should actually be able to buy something now. All right, take all the junk. So you can have two of the same. 20% chance of getting plus one risk value for each artifact. So risk value. Is that, like, the type of enemies it spawns? Bosses drop more loot if players do not lose any HP. That is not going to help me at all. I'm terrible. Doubles the amount of coins you currently have. It gives you 10 if you had none. 2 max, two max plus 2 HP. Chance to loot more coins, but decreases the chance to loot hearts. That's a trade-off. The question is, can you sell any of these artifacts? Exactly. I don't want this one. Random weapon. Small crystal gun. One plus one bullet, two damage. One bullet, two damage. Distance 200, speed six. So this could give you something really good or really bad. Eh, yeah, worth a risk. So, I don't see anywhere. So, the gun stats are on the side there. I don't see a way to change the weapon, so you're stuck with whatever you get. What are they? Oh, there's a ton of those frogs. Jerk. Get froze. So the gun seems to do less damage, but it also has the ability to freeze. And I can just go right back into the shop. You don't have any artifacts, don't come bother me! 8 bullets, 0.3 damage. 1 bullet, damage 2. Try this one. Oh, 
almost killed myself again. Dropped hearts explode on disappearing. You have to collect them before that happens. Is that the reduced speed one again? Doubles cooldown time for your active ability. Joke's on you, I'm not using any. Well, time to die in the boss level. It's been a good run. Like I said, good run. That was quick. Only five minutes this time. Not getting any better. I think I'll leave this here for now because it's just going to be more of the same. Me trying, failing epically, not really showing off any more of the game except for the first boss. If you want to try it for yourself, it's available for the Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, and Steam. And with that said, I'm going to leave the video here for now. So if you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.